It is November 7th, 2021. I'm Andy. This is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Port of Brunswick and the St. Simon Sound a bit today. And yeah, we're going to start out today with Black Panther and Thor. A bunch you comic guys might, might enjoy that. But here we see the Harvey Subsea on its way out of the Port of Brunswick, passing by Thor, the Mars company, crane that's here to uh, disassemble sections four and five, working on section five. Uh, this is going to be kind of a fun, a fun little whimsical walk through the port and through the sound as we kind of tie the visit from the Black Panther up as uh, the Black Panther production wound up this past week. The Harvey Subsea began heading out. Uh, it had a little more shooting to do that they did away from the dock in the Port of Brunswick. Here we see Harvey Subsea kind of heading for the Sydney Lanier Bridge, heading out the Port of Brunswick. And we swing back by Thor, equal time here, and we see the, some of the Mars guys up on top of the ship and they're welding away. It looks like they're getting some support pieces welded into place for uh, what we feel is going to be a pretty interesting view when the separation of these sections starts to take place and they start to break these sections up into smaller pieces. The guys were up on top and we could see them weld. We could see their flashes from their welding equipment as they were underway making preparations. And we're still... We're having a little bit of sour weather, I'm sure, as most of the country knows right now. So it looks like the process may be delayed a little bit until they get some better weather. You can't have a lot of wind when all this starts. Hey, a little video for you guys that have been wondering and questioning what is going on with the cars that are loaded up into those trailers. Well, here's the pile of them. Um, They've been going out to the uh, facility for Glen Iron and Steel and have been unloaded. And it looks like from, from the coloration, this one particular pile is Golden Ray cars. Um, and they were unloading some of the trucks here. And so, yeah, here you go. A little video for you guys of what's going on with the cargo from the Golden Ray that is being... Um, loaded into the trucks. Now, keep in mind that the majority of these cars have already traveled to Louisiana. They left inside of those sections that were carried away. The other six sections, I should say, that were carried away uh, on the barges. But here, the pieces that have been taken up out of the area of the sound, the ones that have been fished out, as well as those that have been taken out of the sections through weight shedding or uh, just getting them unloaded in the Port of Brunswick. They seem to be piled up, a, a very large pile of them here at the Glen Iron facility.
So uh, we hope this kind of explains what's going on. We don't know what what is going to happen to these cars. We'll try to keep an eye on these, but we don't get out to the side of town very much. But as far as we can tell, they're just being stockpiled here. I'm sure they'll undergo some other processing. Uh, just not sure exactly where that's going to take place, but hope that kind of settles some of the curiosity of what's going on with the cars. They're being piled up here at the Glen Iron facility. Uh, we're sure for something else, but that we don't know. So, with that, we head back to the sound, and here we see the Harvey Subsea coming by the St. Simons Pier. If you look quick, you're going to see some helicopters. There they go. Yep, they were catching some views there, doing a little filming. Another point of interest, a new tugboat has showed up. This is a Mobro tug, uh, the Rio Bravo, out moving some some barges around the site. She has come in since uh, we have uh, seen uh, so many of the other tugs have been kind of moved on to other other tasks and other places, moving the VB. But the Rio Bravo, this is Mobro out of Jacksonville, based out of Jacksonville, Florida. So uh, kind of a local tug company. They're here working. And while we're out watching filming, they were out doing some fishing with the claw. We caught some of this from our land-based camera. A little bit of action here of some of the debris, obviously cars coming up out of the St. Simon Sound. So that process is, is ongoing. We've seen them taking up some of the environmental barriers, some of the floating top pieces and uh, they're back grabbing some of those cars. Uh, we hope to get some more of this activity. Fascinating stuff and amazing to us, the technology involved. When they put that claw down in the water, they usually pull up a car. So this stuff's been mapped out and they, they have a very good idea of where it is. They go down, close the claw and magically catch a car we can see them piling up some of these some of these vehicles that they were able to get a hold of uh, on the on the barge and we'll look to see those getting processed now camera helicopter we have two helicopters in the air at the time here uh, this is the camera helicopter and then we'll see what we suppose is the the villain's helicopter uh, coming come to the sea. We're, we're not really sure how it plays out in the movie, but this helicopter was filming another helicopter that was in the scene. And I'm sure there'll be some things that are added through the movie magic that takes place. And it was, you're gonna hear a lot of, lot of people out down at the pier. This was kind of, advertised on social media that this was going to take place so they had a lot of activity out uh, a lot of people out to see this thing taking place beautiful afternoon on the st simon sound the sun was going down very nice very nice evening. This scene was repeated maybe a dozen times where they were filming this helicopter coming in and coming down to the helo pad on the Harvey subsea. They don't lift off. We thought there might be uh, some more, maybe some pops and bangs. Never saw them. We suppose that movie magic will be added uh, somewhere in a production studio. But yeah, pretty interesting stuff. And uh, kind of neat to see uh, this movie and these scenes being filmed here in Brunswick. A little parting shot for you guys for the day. It was just a wonderful day. Well, hey, that's going to do it for this report. I want to ask if you haven't done it to click on that subscribe link, share the video, send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.